everyone, it's Renina here and welcome to Sable. Sable is a game that is one of those games that has been on my radar since the beginning of my YouTube channel, but it was always still in development. Until I think about a couple of months ago when uh, they released a demo during the Steam... What is it called again? I think it was like the Spring Festival or something. I loved the demo. It was like one and a half hours long, which is pretty long for a demo and it was amazing. So imagine my surprise when I got an email saying that Sable was released and I could actually buy and play it, which I did. So here we are. Let's dive right into it. It is not really a, any backstory needed, in my opinion. Um, we're going to play a new game uh, for those who have watched my um, demo playthrough. There is probably a bit of overlap for the first like couple of episodes, uh, but that shouldn't be too off-putting, I think. Let me quickly check whether... There was any... Um, this was all fine. I was for a moment checking whether there were any subtitles that I needed to put on, but those. There. Let's start a new game. And let's go for an empty file. And yes, I would love to start a new game. It's an absolutely beautiful game. For those who don't know what to expect from Sable, Sable is actually a playthrough of a young girl... Um, Becoming an adult and her journey of becoming an adult and that is done um, She's part of a tribe and the tribe has a way of sending people away to become adults The art style is peculiar. It really is It is I'm getting used to but I absolutely love it. It was like the first thing that really drew me to this game was How beautiful it looks, but also it doesn't look like anything I've seen before which is in case of games a rather a good point because as a gamer, I've seen so many games over the past couple of years. Some stuff tends to get blurry. Like, one game will look like another and there's not really anything to remember a game by. Besides maybe a good storyline or anything. This game, it's all about its visuals and the soundtrack. Both are absolutely amazing. So that's our protagonist. Just sitting there, looking at the beautiful... I think it's a temple of some sort. Yeah. There we are. I think this is indeed... Item of Ooh, wait, wait a second. I knew already what I did. Uh, can I get into my settings? I can. I am going to decrease the camera sensitivity a lot. That's a bit better. It's still like really, really. Like let's let's put it halfway. Yeah, I have a feeling this is a bit slow, but at least I don't have the feeling I'm moving too fast, which is would be rather annoying. We can sprint. We can space to jump, which is awesome. Where do I have to go? I think I have to get up there. Oh yes, there was stamina for climbing. I do remember now. And I think ladders and stairs don't have any stamina usage, which is awesome, which you have to. A uh, seated crouch. It's a toggle, which I remember. And here we are. This is... It's kind of desert. It's just like really big rock formations. And over there is the village we came from. Um... In case you're wondering, we can really just jump down. There's not really any fall damage that I know of, at least not from uh, these heights anyway. We will get a uh, hover ability quite soon, as in we had it by the end of the demo, which is really lovely and makes everything so spectacular looking. If you can just hover from a high mountain, look around and try to find things. We're at Ibex Camp, which is our home. I am so darn glad to be back. I am so darn glad. So, this is the camp we came from. This is our home. We know all these people. And that guy is awesome, by the way. I really like that guy. Uh, I can feel Jadi smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about. 
Don't you, Sable? I know, and yet I still do. I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. He laughs. I mean it, but I do know you are. Uh, how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like it. you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto mine. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promise you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as I was a young woman, and how wonderful the wind fell through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. He leaned forward and put his little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Yadi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. So, I think I'm ready. I thank Jedi, uh, Yadi. I still don't know how to pronounce her name after all that time. Uh, I still t thank Yadi. Let's call her Yadi. For the encouragement and I sell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get you started. You need to talk to Hylal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike and Hylal will share something. Well, let's just say it's useful as it's fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Yadi is saying but I stay quiet. After that I suppose we'll see you off. Um, I'll be back soon. I tell Yadi I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly so that I don't go too far the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do it with my blessing. Don't try using me as an excuse to come back home early. <laughs> she knows me. Now, go speak with Hylal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Saizo, uh, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass that helps you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Alright, so the compass is Q. Which tells me where I have objective. There's going to be another sort of compass we're going to have. Which is absolutely lovely. Comes really in handy as well. I think this guy might tell me about. But I'm not quite sure. As I approach Hylal. They give me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hylal, Verve and Vigor. And on a day like this. I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for the balance. Table. Take this. Hylal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel the warmth not borrowed from Hylos' hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and I find soft electric, like static on cloth. So, what is it? I try to, sign, I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Hylo what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without. What she's giving you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hylo what I feel. It's... fuzziness, I think. Then you're doing it right. What you feel is the same stone is... Openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Riding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty. Or dormant. and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruin at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Isla claps the hands twice and pops a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm asked, uh, about to leave, Hyla stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a little bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Yadi's words now, and I tell Hyla I go see Driss. Alright, so we got a Whispering Stone. So we can actually see our lock using tap, I think it was, or escape? It's escape. Activate the gliding stone at the altar, and I have to speak to a uh, high lot entries, which I can do. Uh, there he is. We can think just. Yeah, it's not ideal. I'm not really sure how fall damage is implemented in this game, if any. Though I'd rather not try it out since we're just starting off. 
Uh, the music is a bit quiet, so let me up the volume a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be really silent here. There we go. I can always lower it again. Um, Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to raise up to Driz. Driz is the camp manager. He's uh, been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in a secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be? I wonder. How fast will it go? When my legs feel sore, I will get used to it. Chris turns a bit, bit of, uh, of a start. Stable! Hello! So, I was told you have something special for me. I thought Chris I was uh, told he has something special for me. Something special? I'm not very meaningful, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly, trying to be perfected, cool and confidential. But I can do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I asked Chris if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! Feels it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike! Yes, of course! Yes, your bike! That was meant to... Hmm, that I prepared for you, because today is your... Gliding. Chris nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I have to do that. Our blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before you can have your own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test bike. Right, on a different bike. I think about it and I found that I've never heard that part of the gliding. Chris doesn't seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like to try with this bike. It's a test. Just gestures to the scent cut on the side. It's quite old and has a, li a little bit shabby. A tester, if I've ever seen one. Sure, I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes. Good, be gentle though. This is a scent cut that's older than Yadi. He's treated her with respect. Yeah, ride the bike through the ring and back. And there's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Uh, when you're not riding at your hoverbike, well, appears a blue icon on your compass. Yes, it does. Well, now it's considered mine, I guess. Uh, accelerate. Drive. Steer. And get off. Alright, so we can sit up. Get back down. We're not supposed to hit the rocks, so... Lighting starts. I should speak to Driss. Alright, let's go back and speak to him. I mean, it's a pretty neat bike. I mean, he doesn't it doesn't flip when I hit a rock or two. So yeah, wouldn't be too mad about that. All right, let's see what he has to tell me. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Say, congratulations! How was your first pre uh, glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Sure. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. Well, the sand cutter must like you then. It's usually a little bit more temperamental with new riders, but you're not even a little bit on fire. Have you already been by Hilo? Uh, oh, I've been. I nearly have gotten about Hilo and thanked Riz for the reminder, before at least nudging him a little bit about the bike. I asked him if I'd still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it and return uh, to run your little errands. My little errands? And Hilo's got something to show you. Help you out with that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Riz very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilo. Uh, I think I've already been there, so... I open my compass. Yeah, I probably should return to Hilo. Okay, now I can actually... When I'm outside, the controls are a little bit less. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, I can do this. I love this game so much. What the hell? Music, the atmosphere. I mean, what's not to like in this game? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this game so far. We haven't really done anything. I am fully aware of that. But so far, I think it's a really, really pretty game. 
Head over to the temple stable. I promise it will be worth the trip. Oh, right. So, yes, we had to go to the temple. Uh, let me check where I can... Can I select another mission? Uh, we have that one. Uh, now we have activated that one. Uh, let's open this... Whatever it is. Oh, it's one of those, like... I was about to say they are... Hmm, don't know where they are. I think currency of some sorts. Oh, there is a stone over there. Let's get to our bike and let's go to the temple. Which was round. I think it was in the direction. Yes, it is. Awesome. This compass is actually really, really nice. It comes in handy as well. Sand Glider isn't really going all that fast. I can't really go faster. Like, space is going slower. And I cannot really press W any harder, unfortunately. Uh, there's the temple, it seems like. Which is rather nice. Oh well, at least we get to move around. I'm happy with that. It's high mobility they're walking, so yeah, nothing to complain about. So, I think we should be able to climb this, aren't we? Yes, we are. Awesome. Can we climb this? Not really sure. Ah, oh, yes, we are. Awesome. I think we can just climb this hallway. I'm not really sure whether it's considered rude to climb a temple. But and from time to time. Oh hi, you. I haven't seen you. Uh Chemek! Offered by, by chums when planting themselves into the ground perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, those eggs seem to flow with how light they are. It must be a good place to deliver these. Awesome. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those, but for now, let's just hold on to them. I don't think they take up that much inventory space anyway. So, yeah. Oh? Hi! Well, that hurt. Let's just keep going and see what we arrive at. Go straight ahead. There is a hallway over there, so I have a feeling we might go go there. Also, there's golden light all around us, so that usually indicates something of interest, I would say. The stone trims like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. It feels right, I guess? I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am her in her sight. I guess Rohana... Rohana, Rohana is the goddess? Or deity? Of some sorts? Oh. Well, well. Look what we have here. Okay, if I didn't tell you this game was pretty, look at this. This game is bloody awesome. <laughs> and there we have it. The hovering orb that I knew we were going to get because this bot was in the demo as well, but it is a nice thing to have. It really is. Alrighty, so we got the elevator right up to somewhere. 
might be our way out of here. I can imagine us being a little bit dizzy there. I mean, we were picked up by DD Power, so... I imagine it might be a bit confusing. Alright, so high the activated gliding stone. There we go. It is a really nice power. I really love it. Uh, yeah, I know how it works, but thank you for the explanation anyway. So over here, um, I don't think I have to go up. I think I just have to, like, glide my way down. Mostly. As I said, it's rather beautiful because you can actually just look around. Explore areas that you normally wouldn't be able to really explore. Also, those shadows are so interesting. Ooh, there's something down here. Or is it just... Oh, it goes from the floor up. Yeah, probably because I need to glide to... Oh, I need to glide further up, so I need to go there. Alright, so I have to climb, I think, is the best option. I'm not sure we're going to make it, but... We made it. Awesome. There is... Oh, there's a chest over here that is really blending with the environment. We just like the only drawback of the style is that, especially in areas like this, where there are very heavily muted colors. As in, as in I can distinct some red, some yellowish tones. Mostly it's just grayish, bluish. But that's okay. I mean, I don't really mind. Uh, it makes it a little bit hard to see sometimes. Alright, let's just see. My glider's over there, which means I am going to grab it. I love gliding around, but I'd rather not have my bike over here. When I'm not entirely sure if and when I would be back. 